Okay, so I think this is pretty cool. I like the idea. It's uh, it's nice and dramatic. I like all those guys, you know, restraining him and the action and everything. The thing that I would do is, this works. Like I like this, right? This is okay. That you're starting to cut off too much here, too much there, and then even this feels unbalanced and low. That's better. Careful. This would only work if there was like a lot of energy suddenly with the cop and him. So it's a bit like a couple frames of this and not so so much like for so long covering his eyes. Again, we're too low. And that's okay. It just feels like you want to be framed like this. So you know, you imagine you would still see all of this. Again, that's that's your framing. So throughout all of this. Well, actually, even a bit less, like that. So you would still have his eye. And that's your framing cut off here, so you never really cut off his eyes. But it gets close, and you can have a tiny bit more handheld in the camera. Uh, I think that could work. It just it feels like you're, we're too close. Um, but I like the amount of movement. The only thing would be he's always aligned like this. You need to have a moment, maybe on this big moment, he's actually doing it this way to get away from the cop, and that's why... The cop then comes over and struggles with him and that's why he gets so close because this guy at this point is here and he pulled himself over there which pulled the cop over there and then you can go back to here so right so you start like this big pull over here come back to that and actually you would start here big pull over that end here so at the end you are a bit further in space right getting closer to where he wanted to go uh, I would do that and just pull the camera back a bit. So either do like a lens change or just translate the camera back overall. Don't gradually go back, it's always further back. Um, and that's it, yeah. I just, you know, more contrast in the alignment and the movement of the head. Um, I can do a tiny bit of handheld, like really tiny bit. So the up and down will be like this amount and the left right will be this amount. It's really tiny. It's a bit more, a bit more life in there. That's my son! That feels very smooth. So like on top of everything you have, you would do a secondary curve that's maybe like every six frames. Uh, you would have like, you know, like that random key type of thing. And then you have, that's an X and then you do an Y. Another one that's, that's different, right? Blah, blah, blah. And then you take this and move it back by three frames. And then that's it. And then you get your, your uh, organic handheld curves. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.